morning, everyone, and welcome to our Bible sharing this morning. Thank you so much for tuning in. And we still live in the Easter season. So may the law, the risen law, bless you, keep you, and protect you always. What a beautiful day we have in God. And we here in Canada pray that the winter will disappear very soon. So cross the finger on that. Today, today we are share with the reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Chapter 2, 36 to 41. And in this reading we read, When the people heard this, they were cut to the heart. When people receive the truth about their life, and when people are presented the truth with honest, sincere, and truthful way, people receive it wholeheartedly and they got cut in their heart. Not literally, of course, but they got cut in a sense that they felt they want to do something in their lives. They want to change because the not changing can leave them with a great pain and great shock. And that's the reason why they asked Peter and the other apostles, Brother, what should we do? There's a deep longing for the truth in each, in every one of us, in all the persons of this world. They want to know more about the truth. And they want to discover more about their lives, the meaning of who they are. And the consequence will be they will want to know the truth more and more. And that's the reason why they asked uh, the apostles, what should we do? And Peter shared with them, the first thing we should do is to repent. Repent. That's a very negative word of this present time. People feel a little bit allergic when they heard about that word. It brings to them the image of the witch hunt movie. Repent or you will be burned into health or in health. Well, there are some element of truth on that. But the real meaning of repent or repentance, metanoia in Greek language, is to change our way of thinking, to change our way of seeing things. Because the way we think will dictate the way we feel. And the way we feel will dictate the way we act. It all starts from, from here. When, take for example, when you start paying attention to, uh, to the bad habit of the people around you, the people who you live with, Normally, we will find that right away. Because everybody around us is imperfect in many ways. And when we start paying attention to all those negative thoughts, then we will have the feeling of negativity towards them. And the consequence of all this negative feeling will be the gesture of unkindness or rudeness in the way we treat them. Just take for an example that we can relate to in our lives. So, St. Peter uh, challenged uh, 
uh, challenges and challenges on up his contemporaries. Repent. Make a U-turn in your life. Change the way you think. Or uh, one of the uh, preacher who talk about repentance and he said it in a quite uh, blunt, blunt way. He said, repent is to change your thinking, thinking. There's some element of truth on that. Yes. Change our old ways, old customs. Change our old habit, our destructive habit, so that we can make a U-turn to the right way. Repent. The next step will be be baptized. Be baptized not in any other name, but be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of God. Jesus said that also in Mark uh, chapter 1, uh, verses 15. The time is fulfilled. The kingdom of God is near. Repent and believe in the good news. And St. John the Baptist uh, said that, I baptize you with the baptism of repentance. But there is one among you whom I am not worthy to untie the tongue of his sandal. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. So be baptized in the name of the living God, in the name of Jesus Christ. And what will be the outcome of those actions, of repentance and of being baptized in the name of God, in the name of Jesus? What will be the outcome? Beautiful outcome, beautiful result will be uh, fulfilled. First of all, the result will be the forgiveness of our sins. The forgiveness of our sins. God said in Isaiah chapter 1, verses 18, Even your sins are like scarlet, red like crimson. I will make them as white as snow. Think about that. God will forgive us. God forgive the people. Even forgive them of the most terrifying, horrified sin to kill his own son. Then nothing else God cannot forgive in our life. God can forgive one of us, even though our sins are dread like scarlet. He will make our light, our lives as white as snow. And the other outcome will be we will receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit, the seven beautiful gifts of the Holy Spirit. Wisdom, understanding, counsel, fortitude, knowledge, piety, and the fear of God. And with the gift of the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit in our lives, we will receive His other nine fruit, the fruit of the Holy Spirit. That will be love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. That is in Galatians chapter 5, verse 22. So that's all for today. Uh, that's long enough for today. Thank you so much for tuning in and listening to our sharing this morning. May the Lord bless you and may the Lord keep you always.